Didn't die. Meanwhile, Thank you, Shannon. <laughs> they know he's, he's here. Dead. They dust. They dust him. There's no way out. Literally nothing they can do. The Blade Fury is there as well. He oh my god, he Vance almost Corp. gets to kill on Vance Corp, but the heal is enough for Slug Coast away. At this point, what BP probably will do is that they'll take the tower and leave PZZ up there alone. Let's see if they can get something going off oh, God Black. They don't have any vision. Fast in the sandstorm. Sedoi not quite level 6 Jonathan yet. almost died to a tower. There's a smoke there. Worth it. Okay. Smoke. Activated. They're, they're waiting for the sandstorm to expire. On level one, it has a longer cooldown than duration. Yeah, but this is gonna give a lot of time for Funic to come in. But he's only level two. Let's see if he actually scares him out. He does. They're gonna go for the kill on Yol. Getting a little bit low, but Goblack's gonna definitely go down with one more right click. And Funic now on the run. And BZZ takes him out. It's a double kill actually for Sedoi on the bounty hunter. Well, I don't know Top where lane. else they would go right now. Oh boy, Sid Funic. Funnick is extremely he's dead. Getting, oh, he might actually get blocked in. Oh, he's gonna pop his poison Nova. Might actually get a kill on Jotam. We'll see if there's enough damage to kill Funnick though. So he's gonna get the kill. And yeah, Sedoi gets the track on top of it. And they're gonna you find Yol. Do you think he would've lived with a drum? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. Yol, unfortunately, will be found as well. That'll Man, be the death of him. Navi are com they're almost sacrificing a tier 2 for this though. Yeah, we'll see. I don't think this was a good trade at all. And Unless, I don't even think well, they hold it. Oh, ailed. Oh, it's not going to connect, but they still will get this kill, I think. The stun not going to hit more than one target, and the crit is there to finish him off. Dendi takes a cold feet and will actually get frogged. My early game went to shit. I need to recover Sand Kingdom. <laughs> we uh, saw this yesterday. Or we don't really see that frequently anymore. We might have seen it once, but oh, tries the shackle, doesn't get Beautiful it. Beautiful shackle BZZ. on two crits. BZZ in a lot of trouble, though. They're seeing the beautiful oh, he's so dead. medallion on top of the death ward, but... Still oh boy. Oh, they're gonna run in a nice blink from Yol. Poison Nova's gonna connect on Sedoi, and Sedoi alone ailed, although... It's Dendi, and only Dendi as he's well. Dead. Sedoi finds his way to the grave. Dendi trying to TP back, but this is an Aghanim Scepter. We'll just have to keep an eye on him as Jada. Gonna try to TP Omni Slash. Not really needed there, Tinker. Sure. Yeah, are you gonna shatter? Are you gonna shatter? Oh my goodness, that was like the last couple ticks. BZZ. He's down to four. There's the oh no, no. Goblin misses his oh Burrow Strike goodness. again. And BZZ just going for that kill. Crit Witch Doctor to death. Here we have the Sheepstick from G onto Goblin. He has no mana to speak of, and another crit helps bring him down. That is the second game in a row that we've seen some missed Burrow Strikes from Goblin. Meanwhile, bottom lane Juggernaut versus Rubik. That is not a matchup you see very often. Tinker is here though. Missing an op shot on a still target, which I do all the time. Like, I can hit them when they're flying through the air doing somersaults as Goblox and Kamba can do it. Just trying to be attack. annoying here, but doesn't look like a kill. Oh, wait. Yules, and there's some backup in the form of PA. Dagon's gonna connect as well. Goblox has Burrow Strike in one second. He should. Okay, he doesn't get it off, but it ends up being a one for one trade overall. <laughs> For himself, we're gonna see an engagement in the jungle. Oh my god, the Omni Slash used again, but it was evaded thanks to the Sandstorm. Not sure who that benefited though, because Yol was in a lot of trouble. Gets out of dodge, however. So Doyne Company going on top of Funny. You see the Omni Slash go to work on BZZ. Is it gonna be enough to take that? He pops his BKB, trying to get some auto attacks in. The Satanic again, like I just talked about, right in full HP with one crit. It's a one for one, but the Aegis was used, and oh, another crit my Lord. brings down Juggernaut. PA, you are a and they beast, find a gem. to say the least. Another burst damage crit. That's a triple kill for BZZ. Sedoi extremely low. Sheepstick on Van score. Can BZZ catch up? Gets a stifling dagger. Just get another crit. Doesn't need it. An ultra kill going the way of BZZ. Then he can hold this almost alone. I think so too. Because once again, they don't have a pipe for him. Creep wave is gonna die. Oh, uh -oh. Gonna die. they might find Dandy. Does he have a buyback? He yes, does. He does. Well, it's and still with G gonna hold the push. Extremely low. G has to get out. I would have been. I would have been like, "Yep, you're right." <laughs> oh. It's the thing is. Oh, he's looking for it. Looking for the Omni Slash. He gets a pistol bladed. The AAL coming in, but it's gonna be evaded thanks to the Omni Slash. He's gonna take out BZZ. Oh my God. Are you serious? He's Satanic crit again for full HP. Unbelievable. He's gonna get Dagon down. He's extremely low again. Can he take something down before the inevitable death? He does not, but Dandy finds his way to the grave yet again. It's a 3 for 1, the buyback from BZZ. Can he TP back in? And Goblack's epicenter gets completely cancelled again. This time to the shackle shot, which didn't even connect. It's not even needed. BZZ back in the fray. He has a triple kill, even after buying back. Two buybacks in the meantime for Na'Vi. Burrow Strike. Rocket, everything trying to be used on BZZ. He's gonna be okay, and they're just gonna turn the tables on Goblack. Aye, aye, aye. Three dead for Navi. 
BZZ finds Dendi. He has Abyssal Blade, remember? Can he get this kill? Okay. Yes. That's a yes. So, this will go very fast. G shows up. Imagine Ancient Apparition on Na'Vi against the Satanic PA. That would be sick. Could have been nice. Of course, maybe he doesn't go for Satanic in that case, so... Uh, we have a TP. Here comes Who's it Funic. gonna be? Funic gets Abyssal Blade. No, he didn't actually. It's just a passive bash. Then he gets the Abyssal Blade a little bit later. Epicenter. He gets Telekinesis right off the bat. Basically, no Epicenter coming out from him. From Gawblack again. He's forced back to base. Might actually die. Indeed, he does. G getting bursted. Just a bit by Tinker, but they have the tools, and the epicenter was stolen. <laughs> hey, that's just as effective as the other epicenter. Yeah. <laughs> <It's just laughs> <like, laughs> like, like, hey, look look, 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 look what I can do! <laughs> that's two racks down in the form of mid and bottom, and now this is going to be the beginning of the end. Sadoi. <laughs> can you imagine him saying to his own, own team, he just starts the epi, hey guys, guess who I am, bro? <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> Poor God Black. Oh God. Oh, if that's what they did, that would have been hilarious. Oh, yeah. Man, this is just over. DP. They came in the favorites. They're showing why. Two good games from them. Navi still can't really find their footing, as it seems right now in competitive Dota 2 in general. I don't know what they need to to do to step it up, but it's just not working right now. Yeah. They have. Damn. That was. A Always love seeing a PA rolling. It's such an entertainment hero from a spectator standpoint. Just those big crits, those big.